Hey guys, so today I decided to do something a little bit different. It is the start of the new year. It's 2019. Happy New Year, everybody, and I haven't uploaded since 2018. <laughs> So today I want to uh, bring you through a night of self-care. This isn't like any fancy self-care. It's not anything like super, super special, but I thought it'd be a good way to kind of ring in the new year with a little bit of self-care. So I'm just going to kind of take you along on a typical night of self-care for me and hopefully this will give you some inspiration to maybe do some self-care yourself um some inspiration for some different types of self-care that maybe you didn't think about just whatever um i finally got a new vlogging camera i finally have a vlogging camera thanks to mason and a bunch of my friends one of the best gifts i've ever gotten so uh i'm really excited for different types of videos like this so i hope you guys enjoy it i know biscuits excited Biquito. Biscuit. Oh. <laughs> so the very first thing I'm going to do, I literally just got home from work. It's like nine o'clock at night. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off my makeup and get into some cozy clothes. So I'm going to do that real quick and then we will start in with the real night of self-care. All right, let's talk about my cozy outfit. So this is a t-shirt that um, my Canadian friends Zoe and Levi got for me. It has the Prime Minister of Canada's face, Justin Trudeau, all over it. And uh, I just thought this was hilarious. This is also super, super soft. So, so I'm in my cozy outfit, makeup is off, we can start the night. So the very, very first thing I do before I start any sort of like self-care, well, I guess it is starting self-care, I clean my space. My room is a little bit messy. I got some clothes on the ground, my like, desk is a little bit messy, my bedside table is a little bit messy. Um, all of this will probably take like less than 10 minutes to clean up, but cleaning has become so important to me. I just find it so much more relaxing and I really do feel like I'm taking care of myself when my space is clean and when I make a small effort every single day to keep it clean, it's really easy to keep clean and it just makes my mental health so much better. It's like the thing, like your mom always tells you growing up, if you just take 10 minutes to clean up every single night, you won't have to take two hours to clean up at the end of two weeks. Like, I finally get it and I finally do that. So, very first thing I do before I start any sort of other self-care is I clean my space. It helps me so much. So, I'm going to speed this up and we're going to clean up my room a little. All right, everybody, my room is clean enough. I mean, if this was a full cleaning day. I would like vacuum wipe down my counters and everything, but just for the sake of tonight, my room is clean enough. So next, I was planning on taking a bath, but I'm hungry. So I'm gonna drink some water because I really, really need to be better about drinking water. And I'm gonna make one of my favorite comfort meals, which is just noodles, butter, and Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna throw some broccoli in there for some vitamins, but I'm going to whip up my favorite comfort meal and I'm going to sit on the couch and watch TV for a little bit to just kind of unwind. That's usually how I do it, is I like get home and while I still have like energy, I like clean and I do the things that I need to do around my house and then I take the time to just kind of unwind. So I'm gonna make 
some pasta. So we'll take you with me. I've never vlogged in my new apartment that I have. Let's turn on a light, shall we? That really didn't do much. I haven't vlogged in this new apartment. I haven't vlogged since I lived in my old apartment. My kitchen's a little bit messy. Don't judge me. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't vlogged at all in this new apartment, so it's exciting. But yeah, this meal is something, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys grew up on it. It's like my favorite go-to comfort meal. So I'm just gonna take some whole grain pasta. I'm gonna cook it, and then I'm gonna toss a little vegan butter in there with some Parmesan cheese. I am not, so for those of you wondering, I am not vegan. I'm slowly trying to switch, but I've been a vegetarian for going on three years, so I'm just, I've switched to vegan butter. I'll eventually get cheese out. It'll come, but if anybody's wondering, I'm not vegan, I'm vegetarian. Um, so anyways, this is one of my favorite comfort meals. It's not the best for you, but it's my favorite and it's super tasty and filling. So I'm just going to whip up some pasta and some broccoli and some cheese and some butter. And then I'm going to sit on the couch and watch some TV for a little bit. I have no idea what I'm going to watch. I just found out the Project Runway is on Hulu, so I might start that back up because I grew up on that shit. So I might do that. I might watch Face Off for like the 10th time in a row, or I might watch some A Crime to Remember. If any of y'all have any TV show like suggestions, then uh, leave them down below. But I'm going to cook my food and sit on the couch and eat it for a little bit and then we'll be back in a couple minutes and I will show you the rest of my self-care routine, like my full bath setup and my face masks and things like that. Okay, be right back. <clears throat> All right, everybody, I am cozied up on my couch with my pasta in my special little pasta bowl. Mason got this for me for Christmas and it was really cute because he was just like, I just thought this bowl was really cute and I thought it could be your like little special pasta bowl. So I got my pasta in my little special pasta bowl. And I tonight decided on a crime to remember, which you will hear in the background right now. It is on Amazon. And I think if you pay like $3 a month, you can get all of these like investigation discovery kind of style shows, like true crime shows. So you know I did it, but Crime to Remember is really cool. It goes over like older crimes, like in the 50s, like anywhere from the 40s to the 60s, and it really like puts it in historical context. And for all of you murderinos out there, Karen Kil Kilgariff is on some of the episodes, but it's just really, really cool, really good reenactments. You feel like you're watching a kind of CSI style show, but it's all kind of vintage, like true crime stories. So I'm gonna do that. I'm under my blankie. I got my TV going. I got my murderino art. I got my special little pasta bowl. And we're just gonna chill and relax for a little bit and then I'm going to take a bath before I go to bed. So I'm gonna watch a couple episodes of this show. All right everybody, it is bath time. So I wanted to show you what I put in my bath. I have this tub in my bathroom called my bath tub. Haha. <laughs> and it has all my Lush stuff in it. I got a ton of Lush for Christmas in my stocking. So these are all bath oils, which are some of my favorite Lush products ever. And then I have a couple bubble bars in here. Like I have the Bright Side bubble bar. I have one of these. I don't know what it's called. Mason got it for me for Christmas. I have like a little local bath bar in there. I have um, some of the like citrusy one. I don't remember what they're all called, but I think tonight I'm going to use um, half of this lavender one. So I'm just going to cut that in half and run it under the water. And then I think I'm going to mix it with this bath oil. I don't know the name of it right now, but it smells really, really nice and kind of very clean and lavendery and like, I don't know, kind of pine scented. I don't know. It just sounds, it seems very nice. I want to do kind of something like herbal and then I might toss a little bit of this in there too so so that is my bath cocktail for tonight so before I start the bath I am going to put on a face mask so tonight and pretty much every night that I do a face mask I do the lush cup of coffee face mask it is my favorite I just use an old foundation brush and I just apply it to my skin I should probably put a headband on it'll be fine so I will literally leave this mask on for like an hour. It feels so nice on my skin and it's nice and exfoliating. I really should have put it on head, put on headband. Um, but this is just like, it's my favorite face mask ever. It's so nice and it smells like coffee and it really does like, 
clear up my skin like if my skin's having a hard time and I'm doing all the rest of the things that I need to do in my skincare routine like using my toner moisturizing properly you know putting on oils at night like this is a good face mask to use towards the end of like a skincare like of like a skin breakout because it's nice and exfoliating and it really feels like you're just unveiling new skin every day or every time you use it so I have my face mask on I got my bathrobe on I'm going to put on some music or a podcast and something I always do in the bathtub because I am so bad with getting distracted super super easily so I try not to be on my phone in the bathtub which like seems really obvious but for me like if I like lay down for five minutes and don't do anything I feel like I'm going crazy uh oh, uh oh uh oh this is dripping into my mouth that seems like such like an obvious thing but I <clears throat> just have a very very short attention span so well what I will at least try to do because I do like like being on my phone and just flipping through social media while I'm relaxing in the tub but take at least like five to seven minutes if I'm listening to music I will force myself to lay there with my eyes closed through at least three songs so that way I really force myself to calm and to not pay attention to anything besides like my breathing and relaxation and just unwinding so that's something I do to really like help me unwind at the end of the day if I'm doing like a self-care routine and I want to take a nice relaxing bath that's what I do so just like a little tip that I would recommend for any of you that are like me who have a hard time like allowing yourself to relax because you're just like What's the next thing? What are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? So just a little tip from myself. So um, I'm going to draw this bath. everybody that is about it now I'm feeling loosey-goosey and relaxed that bath was hot man it felt nice I can barely keep my eyes open I'm so sleepy so I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of self-care kind of night routine this isn't very like extensive it's not very fancy but I thought that would be helpful just just small little ways you can incorporate self-care into your like every night routine um, like I said cleaning helps me a ton taking time to really just breathe and separate, biscuit meowing at me in the background, <laughs> making your favorite foods, cooking for yourself, all of these things can help really add self-care into your regimen without even really adding a ton of things. Like self-care doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be, you know, taking yourself out to shop or like do all these things. It can be as simple as taking 10 minutes every single day to clean your room so that way you come home to a nice, comfortable room that you're proud to be in. And if you are curious about to like as to like what shower products or bath products or my skincare routine, I do have a get on ready with me. I will link it up in the little icon up here somewhere. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this gave you some inspiration as to how you could add self-care into your routine. Let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see, more vlog style videos that y'all want to see. I love you so freaking much and I can't wait for 2019 and all the awesome things that are going to come of it. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.